If you use Think or Swim, you might find this video helpful. TD Ameritrade and Schwab have quietly rolled out some powerful new Think or Swim features this year that make trading faster, smarter, and way more intuitive. Some of these features include new charting upgrades and cool trading gadgets as well as customizable layouts, and I sincerely believe these updates will level up your workflow. In this video, I'm breaking down 10 of the coolest new Think or Swim features that'll make your trading life easier whether you're day trading, swing trading, or just analyzing the markets. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what's new, what's worth using, and how to take full advantage of the latest Think or Swim updates. These features are in no particular order. One feature isn't better than the other just because I talk about it first or last. This is all subjective. If any of these features can help you become a better trader, awesome. That's definitely the goal here. So I sincerely hope this video will be useful in some way. The first feature I wanted to talk about is the use the news feature. You now have the ability to easily filter any kind of news you're looking for in a stock. So this will make more sense visually. What you want to do is hover over to this plus sign in the bottom left corner. Click on use the news. And then hover over to this symbol that looks like a price tag. Once you do that, you want to clear all categories by clicking right here. And now you have the ability to select whatever news you're looking for in a stock. For example, if you like trading the news on say pharmaceutical companies and are looking for news on drug updates or approval, you can check the boxes on drug updates, FDA approval slash rejections, then hit save. And you can see today there is only one stock with a drug update and zero FDA approvals or rejections. This is extremely helpful to navigate all the noise when it comes to the news. So if you want to deep dive even further on what the news is about, you simply just click it and then you can click on this white symbol and it's gonna load the details on what the drug update is about for that stock. So I think it's really cool Think or Swim added this kind of feature and it's only going to improve going forward and finding certain kinds of stocks based on a specific kind of news will be more efficient going forward. The second feature is called the Chart Navigator. One of the most annoying things traders found was having to zoom in on a chart from a past date, but then having trouble navigating from there if you wanted to go to another date because the scrolling would be annoying. But now you can go over to Style, and then click on this box right here, Show Chart Navigator. And once you do that, it's gonna bring up this small subcategory below the chart. Doesn't look like much right now, but let's zoom in again to a time in the chart. And now you notice this box appears. You can toggle this box left and right. And you can also see the dates above the box easily navigate where you want to go. I think that's a lot easier to use than having to deal with the scrolling bar in my opinion. And if you want to zoom back out to the full chart, you simply just double click anywhere on the chart. So pretty nice feature. The third feature is the ability to add your PNL for the day under this account tab but this will include both your realized and unrealized PNL combined. Thinkorswim hasn't added a feature yet to filter it to one or the other, but if you're a day trader and sell all of your position by the end of the day, your total PNL will be displayed here once you add it in, and to add it, you simply hover over to this three bar symbol, click on customize gadget, and look for PNL day, which is right here, and then you click on add item, and then just hit OK. And you will notice your PL for the day when you're day trading for every stock you day traded that day. Very convenient. The fourth feature is the ability to have stock quotes in your header now. I know you already have your watch list, but for convenience, you can also add ticker symbols at the top. It may be a lot easier to navigate with your eyes. You simply go to this plus sign and add in whichever ticker symbol you like. And you can do this multiple times. And if you want to get rid of it, simply click on the ticker symbol and then push X right here. So just something to consider if you think you'd find that useful. The fifth feature is displaying your positions on the chart itself and what price you bought it at. So to enable this feature, you head over to settings and that's going to open up a new window. Make sure it's in the general tab. Go over to positions and click this drop down menu and select show all, then hit apply and OK. And once you're done with that, you'll notice a horizontal line will appear. And this line correlates with the price you bought the stock at. So here you can see it says plus 275.15.31. So it shows me I bought 275 shares at $15.31. So definitely another cool feature you guys can use. The sixth feature is the ability to color code your PL in the monitor tab. So you see the PL open and PL day section right here. 
You can now color code it and it will show up as red if you're losing money or green if you're making money. So to enable this, you go to setup in the top right corner right here, click on application setting, click on display, head over to show color price ticks and make sure the box for position statement is checked and then apply settings. And you can see right here the colors change from the default white text to red and green text which I find very helpful. The seventh feature I wanted to show you guys actually isn't a new feature. It's been on Think or Swim for a while but I wasn't aware of it or it's just not something I thought of but it is helpful and that's the trend line break alert. So whenever price action breaks a trend line whether above it or below it it will alert you via text. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to select trend line as my drawing tool and I'll draw a trend line connecting these two daily candlesticks. And then I'm gonna right click it and select create alert with drawing. And I want price action to cross above the trend line so I'll head over to this drop down menu and make sure crosses above is selected. And then hit create. So whenever price action breaks this trend line it will alert me via text. And you can obviously do this with any security to help you get in a good trade. The eighth feature, we're actually going to stick with trend lines. Same thing, this feature isn't new, but there's still a lot of traders that aren't aware of it. And that's the snap to drawing tool, which automatically aligns the endpoints to the high, low, open, or close of a candlestick, including wicks, when you click near them, rather than requiring pixel perfect manual placement. This makes connecting one candlestick's end to another's much easier and more precise. Here's how it works and how to set it up. Go to chart settings by clicking on this gear icon, and then simply head over to the snap drawings to section. None is usually the defaulted selection, so we're going to click on the drop down menu and look for OHLC, then just hit apply and OK. And now I can click anywhere near here, and the trend line is automatically going to snap to its highest endpoint like a magnet. And then I'll draw it to this candlestick's endpoint, and you see how it automatically snaps like a magnet. This represents exact precision. And if I want to extend it out even further, because it'll only allow you to snap it from point A to point B, just right click on the drawing, and then just select extend to the right, or extend to the left, and it'll automatically do that for you too. So hope that helps. The ninth feature I wanted to highlight is the fundamental analysis of a stock. So we're going to head over to the analyze tab, and let's put in say Amazon as our ticker symbol. And what you can do is go to the very bottom of the page and you can see the what drives the stock section of this page. It has it broken down by percentage of where their revenue comes from. But what's even cooler is that you can click on one of the categories. So we'll go with Amazon Web Services and to the right you'll notice Amazon Web Services Revenue. So go ahead and click on that and you'll see this chart will appear. So if you click and hold any of those dots, you can drag the chart line up and down to your liking. And based on where you go, it will adjust the fair value which is pretty cool. This feature is more for investing than trading I would say, but still pretty cool to know about. You can do the same thing with a stock like Apple. Head down to the bottom and let's click on iPhone. Click on iPhone revenue. And you can drag the chart up and down to your liking. Not every stock will have this feature. Obviously some of the major ones will, but Think or Swim will gradually add more as time goes on. So just something to look out for. The tenth and last feature, which I'm sure a lot of you know about, but certainly worth repeating, is the ability to minimize this entire section right here. So that way you can make more room for your chart. You just click on this little left arrow box to get rid of it. And then the little right arrow box to expand it and this can apply to both the charts and flex grid and that wraps it up those are 10 of the most useful new think or swim features added recently hopefully at least one of these tools helps streamline your trading process and makes your workflow a little smoother if you learned something new today drop a quick comment and let me know which feature stood out to you i always love hearing your feedback if you found this video useful please hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content i know it's been a minute since my last upload but i'm certainly going to make an effort to make more content if i think my viewers can find value in them thanks for watching good luck with your trading and i'll see you in the next one